What's going on YouTube? This is your boy DJ Hypnotic. And I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial on to how to change your BPMs on your Serato DJ. And you can also do the same trick on Scratch Live as well. But we're going to work with Serato DJ right now. Okay. This might be for beginner DJs. If you're a veteran DJ, this might not be the tutorial for you. But if you don't know it, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Let's say you got some music you want to put into your Serato DJ or Scratch Live. And you analyze the files, which is right here. And if you know how Scratch Live and Serato DJ, you know, got those little bars and stuff that it reads through to get your BPM for each individual song. And sometimes Serato DJ or Scratch Live, they, they do they, they, they double the BPMs like this. Some DJs just leave it there. Other DJs, it's annoying to me. I like to have the correct BPMs in my library. So I'm going to show you real quick how to change the big to make the BPM to the actual BPM. All right. So let's say we're gonna take um, let's say we're gonna take Levels by Meek Mills. Now we all know that that song is not 106 beats per minute. That's a very slow song. You know. So what we're gonna do is how you do it is highlight the song, double click where it says the BPM. Let's highlight it there. And then what you got to do, it's pretty simple. Hold the Alt button on your computer and press the down arrow key. Right? Press Enter. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to edit this tag? Be Grizz may be edited. Which is fine if you're on DDJSX or any other controller that has those beat samples or those beat grids. It automatically changes it for you so it can go according to the beat BPM. So you click Yes. And there you have it. It automatically changes the BPM to this correct BPM. I'll do another one for you. Future uh, with Lil Wayne Karate Chop. We all know that song is not 135 beats per minute. It is not a house song. It is not a techno song. So, do the same thing. Double click. Hold the Alt. Press the down arrow key. Press Enter. And actually, you, are you sure you want to change the edit tag? Click Yes. And there you have it. Same thing goes for uh, Scratch Live. You can do the same thing for Scratch Live. You're going to take uh, Future, Same Damn Time. That song is not 139 beats per minute. You all know that. If you're a hip-hop DJ, click it. Double-click when it says BPM. Press the Alt. Down arrow key on your keyboard. Press Enter. And actually, you want to edit the tag? Yes. And it goes to the correct BPM, which is 70 beats per minute. All right? So that's it. That's how you have it. That's how you change your BPM. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, DevDJHypnotic78, and hit up my website, all right? www.djhypnotic.net, and I'm out.